at that moment in my Jira project or Jira um, you know instance, you can see there are no Spring and no backlog is enabled at that moment. That's the reason all these story are or maybe all these tasks are present to the board under the board. Hello everyone, in today's class we'll talk about the backlog and sprint in Jira. So what is backlog and what is sprint in Jira that we'll talk about in our today's class. So let's understand that first, what is backlog? So list of work that must be implemented as part of achieving specific outcomes. Backlog contains work related new features, enhancement to existing features and other activities of the product development. So what is backlog? So let's say that you are uh, starting a development of a software and then you decided that I am trying to implement a new thing. So let's say that I am trying to create a report. So that's might be your enhancement, right? So you see you you assume that this has to be done so that when you create a story that story will be initially in the backlog state. So you don't decide that when it will be start when it will be end. you just decided that this these all features needs to be done in my product and that uh, where this all story is stored that we call the backlog. Let's say that when you created the four or five story for different different features or enhancement, the initial stage of those story will be stored into the backlog. So at that moment, we don't decide that where this story will be completed, when this story will be started, when the story will be ended. We don't decide at that moment, it will be stored into the backlog. Okay. Next, we have a call sprint. So what is sprint? Let's understand that first definition. A sprint refers to a definite period of a time duration which a team commits to complete a set of amount of work. So once your task or once your story is present to your backlog, then you decide that on the sprint A or sprint B from two weeks or three weeks duration, we are going to complete certain tasks. So that we call the sprint. I'll come to the Jira board and I'll show you that all the details. So sprint is a uh, duration of let's say the two weeks or three weeks in two or three weeks. We are going to complete certain tasks that we call the sprint. A sprint is a time box iteration that usually lasted between one to four weeks during which the team works on specific set of tasks, features of user story. So basically, as I said that the sprint is nothing but a duration. Let's say it's a duration, two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. And in, within this duration, we decide that this all story or enhancement we are going to complete. And we said that as a developer, you have to complete within this to a time frame, like three weeks or two weeks, you have to complete this story. So that we have decided. So I'll go to the Jira board quickly and I'll show you that. At that moment in my Jira project or Jira um, you know, instance, you can see there are no spring and no backlog is enabled at that moment. That's the reason all these story are, or maybe all these tasks are present to the board, under the board. What we can do, I can go to these uh, project settings, and then under the project settings, there will be a called features. I have discussed that. Under the features, you will have an option called backlog. So once you turn on and go back to the project again, you can see in the left side, we have a backlog column. And here we have a pop-up called, they are trying to move all my uh, to-do uh, story or task to the backlog. That's their trend. We can move your first columns issue straight into your new backlog. So if you click yes, move then all the story will be moved to my backlog i will click yes move and you can see all the story in my first column move to the backlog now if i go to the backlog under this backlog you can see uh, all these uh, you know all the story are or the task is present in my backlog and from the backlog we can move to the sprint or maybe uh, at that we can move to the board so instead of board let's create a sprint or ne ne um, let's enable the uh, sprint to enable the sprint, what we have to do, we have to again go to the project settings. Under project settings, we have a features and under these features, you will be able to see the sprint. So this is the sprint option is available. If you turn on the sprint and once you turn on the sprint, you go back to that home page. And you can see under the backlog right now, there is a one sprint enabled that is called train sprint one. So this sprint is enabled right now. From the sprint, you can directly create the issue. You can directly create the issue here. You can date that duration. What is the duration or the sprint name? So we can edit directly here. So sprint name may be sprint one. And duration, you can select the date or what is the duration of the sprint? One week, two week, three week, or four week. 
let's say I'm selecting the two weeks. Normally, the sprint uh, have that uh, two weeks time uh, period, but depending on your use case, you can decide that either custom or four weeks. So let's say I'm selecting the two days date, and so once I select the two days date, it automatically calculates and it automatically pre-populate the end date. Now you can define that sprint goal. So let's say within the sprint, what we can try to achieve, let's say that we, within the sprint, we can, we are trying to achieve that uh, UI design. So let's say that UI design. So this is our sprint goal of this uh, within this tweak. So we click that. And this sprint is updated. Now you can see in this sprint, we don't have any story at that moment. All the story are backlog. In the backlog, let's say that we desire, we thought that we are going to create this many story. And then simply we can move any of this story from here to the uh, sprint. You can see I can move to this sprint. Okay. So once we move that story one, one by one, all the story to the sprint. And here we have the button called start sprint where we can start actually the sprint also you notice that there is a number called uh you know two one zero so it means that it is denoting that denoting that how many story are not yet started how many story are in progress and how many story are done at that moment so we decided that we are going to walk the four um, story into the sprint and then once we click the start sprint the sprint will be started so at that moment i have that four issues in the sprint and this is the sprint goal you can see you can just simply click the start sprint to start the sprint. So I'll click the start sprint. So I'm saying um, um, here, well, this is the sprint and I'm going to start that sprint name and all the details. I'll just simply click that. Uh, so this is the start date and end date. You can select that, let's say two weeks. And then once you click the start, the sprint will be started. And you can see at that moment right now under the board, it is showing the current sprint. So this is the current sprint at that moment. And then here, the developer will be start working on the current sprint. And then once they have completed their task, they will move this to um, like this one, okay? And it is showing that this sprint will be ended in nine days. So this sprint is created right now and everyone will be start working. After nine days, the sprint needs to be completed like that. So let's say I, I have completed two, two um, story remaining uh, like one story is in to-do list and other story is in progress. So let's say the nine days is over. This Scrum Master will come to this picture and they will click that uh, complete sprint. Once they will click the complete sprint, there will be a pop-up where they will say that these two story are in still in progress. What do we want to do with those two story? So let's say that Scrum Master came up and then click the complete sprint. Once they click the complete screen, so complete sprint, you can see we have uh, we can uh, two story are completed that's fine but two issue are still open what do we want to do okay so do we want to move this story to the new sprint or we want to move those story to the backlog that has to be decided by the scrum master let's say i am saying that move this new this to open story to the new sprint and then click complete sprint Once I done that, I can see that redirect to that sprint two at that moment. So this is my, uh, you know, sprint two at this point. And these two story are moved from sprint one to the sprint two. And let's say in the sprint meeting, we have decided few more story we are going to complete it. So we are going to decide that. And then after this, all these details, we'll click the start sprint. And then again, new sprint will be started with this four week duration or any duration. Let's say I'm going to say that one week duration and click start sprint automatically it will come to the board and under the board it will show that uh, the sprint name called sprint 2 and all this uh, story which is present to the sprint will be visible here so that's it for today if you have any question let me know my comment section thank you very much have a great day